Hello guys, another video from my car as every Saturday. Usually I talk not that much about Laravel but more about dev career, but this time I want to be a little technical and talk about database structure. But from the approach of how you approach the database structure in the first place. So you start a new project and usually I tend to start new projects with database structure in mind. Then from the database it makes better sense for me the models and then the routes and all of that. But often it's not clear what the structure should be, especially the relationships between the table. So you know there are users like roles for example, but then should it be a belongs to, belongs to many, what are other tables, maybe polymorphic or something. So today I want to give you two quick tips what helps me when structuring the database. The first tip is use pen and paper. I know it sounds silly in the 21st century, but I often start just drawing the tables. So table name, underline, and then fields as a list. Another table nearby on pen and paper, the third table, the fourth table, and then try to brainstorm the relationships, the arrows, the fields, and how it all comes together. Only then I go into Laravel or whatever is the tool to create the database. So my tip number one is get away from the computer, take pen and paper and try to draw the tables with the fields or it may be a whiteboard if you have a big whiteboard in the office for example. Also fine, I remember we've been doing that on whiteboard with the team when designing quick admin panel database tables. And yes, there are online tools to make some visual diagrams like UML diagrams or DB schema, but in my personal experience, good old pen and paper is the quickest way to just quickly jot things down from your brain. And then my second tip is try to simulate the queries that you would run from the database. That could influence your decisions about the structure. So if you have an eShop, for example, with products and product options and some other settings, try to mimic the page. Like you would have the list of products with what data. So you need the products with categories, with prices probably, and stuff like that. Just try to imagine what queries would be. I mean, what data would you query, not the exact queries. And from there, your brain would start thinking about the structure. So kind of reverse engineer the structure. Or if you have more time, you may test different approaches. For one of the upcoming courses, I've been testing roles and permissions, doing that with and without the package of Spotty Laravel permission. And I had a case of user having only one role, so without the package, I tried just user's role ID field in the user's table with relationship to roles, and then permission table with role and permission many to many. So that was the structure without the package, and then I tried the same thing with Spotty Laravel permission, and the package structure is much more complex. It uses polymorphic relations, and also by default it supports users to have many rows, which makes it many-to-many -many polymorphic. And I've tried to simulate the queries, run the queries with and without the package, and with the package the queries were much more sophisticated. Of course, for a reason, the package gives you the benefit of using its feature like user give permission or role set permission or stuff like that. There are many ready-to-use methods, and you don't need to care about the structure underneath, the database structure. But in my case, I decided to go without the package because in my case, I didn't need that sophistication of polymorphic relations and more complex data, and I went for a more simple solution. So if you have some more time, simulate different database structures, test them out, test the performance, test the eloquent queries underneath, and then make a decision. Or another example, in other articles I've tested JSON versus multiple fields in the database versus entity attribute value model for product variants. I will link the article in the description below. So again, I've tried them all, measured that, and it could influence my decision for the structure. In other words, in this video, which turned out not to be so short, I thought it would be like two minutes or something. My number one tip is use pen and paper. And number two tip is try to simulate the queries, simulate the functionality, which may lead you to the decisions about database structure. I hope it's helpful and see you guys in other videos.